It has been a while. You're probably watching because you do follow me on Instagram, and so you know that I did not die. Um, I just abandoned my content plans. But why, you might ask? And the answer is, is that from 11 months ago to up until this point, a lot of stuff has happened. Um, so we're going to do a little timetable slideshow. I had my heart broken, I moved in with a friend for a couple of weeks and ate so much watermelon, I'm actually shocked I did not grow a watermelon baby inside of me. I then moved across the country, lost all my savings to the cost of moving and shopping in Ikea, uh, and then the taxman came and stole the rest Thank of my you. money. Fuck you, taxman. I got two massive tattoos, uh, started to feel better about myself and being alone. Uh, I then got massive art block and struggled to make work. I made about four YouTube videos that I never posted because they sucked ass. I then made myself a two week rotating schedule to try and kickstart a routine and uh, somewhere in the mix I had about four meltdowns and did not kickstart that routine. But your girl has been going to the gym and I now no longer live at Noodles R Us and I grew a bum that you're not allowed to see. I am very slowly, painfully slowly, sorting myself out. I have a habit of trying to do too much all at once and then it all falls through because there was no routine. So we've been doing baby steps and in those baby steps I decided to build an entire universe. Um, I sat down with my housemate and we built a whole universe for where my paintings can reside in and I can draw ideas from that universe. From this I decided to repaint this little guy. I painted him about two years ago. Everyone seems to love his stupid little face. And then on this video, I received this comment. I've been following you for a while and I think I can say that it speaks a lot about your state of mind. Before there were a lot of tones of blood and sadness and now little by little I see that it's changing, bringing some extra details that it didn't have before, like those blue clouds. I think that's a bit of a reflection on how you're slowly overcoming a sad part of your depression, right? Honestly, I think it's very beautiful and I hope that the people who follow you and also have this problem gradually improve too. I'm very happy to see that it seems that you're getting better from depression. I'm genuinely happy. Your art is incredible. I don't think it's a secret that my work reflects my mental state. I don't share much about what my work is, um, or even my personal life, because I feel as if I just haven't worked it out fully myself. And I guess I just don't want to admit that they're not happy paintings. And from what usually happens, my work begins to be less painful, and then we'll go back to being painful images. My work is sad, but I don't feel sad when I make it. Sure, there are frustrations in the creative process, and I would consider myself the cliché of a tortured artist. Things need to be perfect in my eyes for me to be proud of something that I've done. But when I'm creating, I am happy. Even though a lot of people tell me otherwise, I very often feel as if I'm not good enough, not a good enough artist to have what I have. There's paintings I want to do, but I don't feel I have a high enough skill level to do so. I don't feel as if I fit in with other artistic content creators. I don't know how to make a stable income from my work, how to get my social media to flow, how to get sponsorships. I just definitely feel as if I'm not supposed to be doing what I'm doing and that I don't work hard enough. Not fitting in is something I have experienced my whole life. As I got older, I realised the friends that I had when I was a child weren't really my friends and they weren't very nice to me. <laughs> and a lot of the people I have been friends with over my life, I felt as if they never truly understood me or really cared to get to know me. Uh, I'm lucky to not be a total loner. I became friends with my closest friends while I was in school and we all bonded over the fact that we were rejects. And I would consider these girls as my family and my home. Now that I am the ripe old age of 25 and self-employed, I don't have anywhere to go to feel as if I fit in again. I do prefer this too if I worked a desk job and didn't fit in at all. And it's not about being like other people. I like the person that I am and who I'm becoming. It's more that I feel isolated in my own existence. I make a lot of art that gets rejected. I don't get accepted to open calls or residencies. Either my work is obviously just not a fit for their gallery and somebody else is, or what I'm putting out there just isn't that type of art for that art world. But I also don't think my work falls into home decor, and not to sound pretentious, but there's too much of a fine art thought process in my work for it to be deemed as just decor. And it's hard to make work that you don't know if it's going to sell because it's not conventionally aesthetic. I mean, there are a very select few who want a sad crying bear in their homes. Very often, I just don't want to work anymore because of the financial stress my work gives me. I just want to paint away my life and do whatever I want, whenever I want. 
but I also don't want to be employed by somebody else at a job that would take me away from spending time painting. My life is art and giving that up in any capacity is too heartbreaking for me. I'm aware of how privileged and egotistical that is, and I'm aware of the paradox I've managed to package myself into. It is just kind of how I feel. I'm scared to make new types of art and apply for residencies and open calls again. I want to get a tattoo apprenticeship, but I'm terrified of facing mass rejection again because in my mind that means I'm not good enough and I don't fit in as an artist. I believe a lot of artists go through this phase of not knowing where they stand, especially in fine art. Knowing where you lie in contemporary art is weirdly useful to know, because then you can continue to build from where you stand and kind of not try and be somebody else, I guess. If you don't know what you're making or what the purpose of your work is, then it becomes quite difficult to not know what your next move should be. I have so many ideas on the things that I want to make and how to increase my business, but the thing is that holds me back is rejection. And then I feel lazy for not doing those things. I don't know if I'm getting any better. I feel better than I did this time last year. That is for certain. I feel creative again and I get waves of motivation. I have the support that I need, but I still feel like I'm stuck. I want more, but I don't know what that more is. Being in your 20s is said to be the best years of your life. It's also said that your school years are supposed to be the best of your life, though I don't know anyone who actually believes that one. And then people say that it's not your 20s that are the best, it's your 30s. And then people say that life doesn't stop after 40. I don't think anyone has a pivotal point in their life where things suddenly get better and start being the greatest years of your life. I think good moments come in waves, and I feel as if I'm currently on the climb up, but it's a bumpy one. People in my comments say I'm an inspiration to them and they've started making art again because of me, and that is wonderful. But I just can't help but think that I am only 25. I've only been a true adult for five years, because let's be honest, 18 and 19, you can drink but you are a teenager. I'm basically a toddler in adulting years. I don't have a lot figured out and I'm just at the start of my life. It's scary, but at the same time, not having a plan or having things figured out is exciting. It means I can do anything.